It's a terrible feeling when you're at the hospital and your, your child is hooked up to so many breathing machines. My two-year-old son um, was diagnosed with asthma pretty early on. I didn't know much about asthma. I knew what it was, like a respiratory issue, but I didn't know that it had triggers and it advances really fast. He would have a lot of asthmatic reactions at home. So I started to think about what's making him go off? What's making his you know, respiratory issues even worse? My seven-year-old was diagnosed with asthma at um, two years old. Um, he still suffers from like asthma attacks at some points during the seasons, like when it's um, like a big weather change from like winter to winter to spring. So I have to make sure that we maintain the proper temperature inside the house. I had a lot of issues with um, like some rooms being really hot, and then the middle of my house for some reason it stayed cold. It seemed though there wasn't no heat getting in the middle of the house. If the room was too warm in one place and then he goes to another part of the house and it's hot, I feel like we would have to monitor him. Once the initial assessment and they came in and told me all the things they would do, I was excited that I was going to be able to get these things done in the home. Me not knowing that it wasn't any insulation in there really had me thinking like what else is it that could be done. We went around the home and she was able to pull out and hand pick, hey, this is a trigger for him. This is a trigger. Don't use this kind of cleaning product. So she basically addressed, hey, maybe we need to seal up, insulate some areas in here and see if that kind of reduces their reaction to, um, you know, a lot of the spores and things in the outside air that they, you know, come in contact with in the morning. They sealed off all the the you know, entryways and exits, and they put a big blower here, and they were able to make sure I was at a place where there was no additional air coming in. Um, after that was done, I can definitely say that I've noticed a change. No more drafts coming in and out of the house, not having the exposure to the outside elements and the things that trigger his asthma. Those things significantly decreased his asthma attacks. So we went from him having an asthma attack, let's say once every four to six weeks, to like twice this year. Since we had the weatherization program done in our home, the heat is more consistent throughout the house. So I did notice like this past winter that he didn't have to have as many breathing treatments. We didn't have to use as many rescue inhalers as we did prior to this being done. So it helped out. I feel so it helped out a lot. <laughs> I'm Mama Bear, I'm always alert, but he tends to roam freely now that I don't have to make sure that he stays in one specific area of the home. What the program did for me, it was a catalyst for positive change. When my kids are home, I know that they're safe. I know that they're breathing in clean air. I know that I'm cleaning with the proper um, cleaning products and not overexposing them to a lot of chemicals that they shouldn't be exposed to in their home where they sleep. So when they you say your home is your sanctuary, it truly is. And I keep a lot of that other stuff out. <laughs>